Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Jango World. So in today's video, we are going to add CK Editor in our project. Now what is CK Editor? CK Editor is rich text editor which is used to enhance your content like it works as a word as Microsoft Word but in our web page. Okay, so to install that we will go to official documentation of the CK editor search CK editor Django install and go on a link which says pypi.org so click here copy this command I'll go to my terminal and uh, my virtual environment is activated I will paste that and hit enter mine is already installed okay now we will go to documentation and follow this documentation right so I'll go down and I will add this sick editor in installed underscore app which is located in settings.py so settings.py and I will paste that over here okay then we need to sorry then we need to perform command collect static but before that we need to do configuration for static underscore root now static underscore root variable is a variable which will look for static underscore file sorry static files underscore dirs and whatever path will be given over here that will it will go to that path and collect all the static files and store it in the base directory but we already have this static uh, folder over here so what we will do is we will just drag and drop this to our project based directory because we don't want any error and we can't uh, place same name folder at one place only okay so i have changed the path and i will also change the path over here so i'll say blog underscore project slash now here i will write static underscore root equals to base dir slash static save this okay now we will perform the collect static command so i will clear this terminal and i will write python sorry python manage.py collect static this command will take some time okay because it has many files to collect so you need to wait for one minute depending on your speed of computer okay so i have collected the static files now now this is saying that i have more than 10k files so i will go to git ignore and i will say static slash okay and i will just refresh over here okay great now we will go back and uh, we will copy this code don't copy this be admin slash base dot base underscore site dot html because it is not needed i will just copy this block and i'll go to base dot html and under this load static i will just paste it over here this is just importing all the static files which we need for the sick character to load in our web web page okay then we need to add sick underscore upload uploader if we want to use this on our if we want to use this as our widget like widgets in forms.py okay which i have explained in previous videos so i'll just copy this go to settings and i'll go to installed app and i will paste this over here okay then we need to configure this path but before configuring this path we also need to configure media underscore root and media underscore url okay so let's do that first so i will again 
come very down under this static i will say media i am writing comment con okay and i will say media underscore url which will be equals to media only and media underscore root will be media okay cool and it will take base directory not just that fine so after doing this we need to go to urls.py and we will import two things which one is settings and one is static so from django dot con import settings and from django dot con dot urls dot static import static now after doing this at the ending bracket of this url pattern add plus and write static sorry oops static and here i will write settings dot media url comma document underscore root equals to settings dot media root underscore root okay done now our media configuration has been done then we will just go here copy this and we will paste it here okay and you can paste it anywhere in this settings.py it doesn't matter really then we need to include this url we don't need these steps okay these steps are just optional so leave it we need to configure this url now but this url is in older syntax so we need to write it in new syntax so again go to urls.py which is present in blog underscore project and here i will write path and in quotation i will just copy this ck editor slash over here i will say comma and i will just copy this include okay fine we have added urls also now we will go down and we need to add pillow or pillow uh, package also so we will say pip install pillow hit enter okay so pillow has been installed now we need to configure the uh, sick editor in settings.py so i will just copy this copy go to settings.py and i will paste it over here and i will add one comment that ck editor conf okay then we don't need this this um, we don't need this also we need this because this is configuration for toolbar okay so add it over here then we don't need this one but uh, we do need this yeah so here if you want a rich text editor in your models like in models.py okay instead of this text field if you want rich text editor then you can import it from these fields and if you don't want that and if you want to reflect this sick editors widgets on the web page then you need to follow the steps which i am showing you right now okay then i will show you how you can add this rich text editor in uh, models also okay so for now we are doing only for this uh, form widgets so i will go to here and i will just copy this and go to forms.py 
where is forms.py yeah here and i will import over here i'll remove this widget and here i will just import this thing and here in create blog form i will paste that and i will write the field on which field i want to reflect this sick editor widgets okay so for that i will go to models and i will copy this description variable and i'll paste it over here after doing this we need to go to outside of the django admin right so we need to just cop copy this and uh, i will go to templates main create underscore blog and i will paste above this form and i will write only form instead of my form save this okay now we need to copy this js also i'll go to base.html and i will paste it over here okay huh now after doing all this thing we will run our server python manage.py run server okay our run server is running now i will open it i will go to create block and you can see we got this uh, text editor before we were having very plain text field right so we got this now but you can have more options okay how so come very down over here just copy this configurations and come over here i'm hiding this terminal and instead of this configurations i will just add this one so this contains a large number of configurations okay come over here refresh and you can see we have more widgets to play around okay now you can do anything like you can do this bigger whatever you want okay now coming over to rich text editor how you can add rich text editor in your models.py okay so come up just copy this import and come to models.py just paste that over here now copy this and in description i am just copying i am just commenting this and i will just take this and paste it over here okay i need to remove this it will not work on this okay good so why it is not taking we will see i need to remove this help text okay i will perform make migration command because we have altered this description field okay so i'll say python manage.py make migrations migrations it is showing me error why error okay it should not have these models yeah because this text this rich text field is not coming from models it's coming from sick editor directly okay so perform that command again okay this has been updated so now we will do migrate so migrate okay now if i run my server and open admin panel go to blogs and click on add blog then you can see we got same same rich text editor over here now you can post blog from here or from the uh, user interface anywhere but this designing this design is just you know 
ruined because of the dark theme of my laptop but if you have light theme set then you are good to go okay fine now i will go to website i will click on create blog and now i will try to create the blog okay so i will say rolls royce motors limited and i will search for rolls royce wikipedia and i will just copy this okay i have copied now you can see this has copied same text which were which was in wikipedia right with all the links and everything like this code you are writing is basically html code okay if i click on source then you can see that it has shown me uh, html code at the end right and if i click again then it is showing me html but in a rendered form it is rendering the html okay now you can add url of h uh, url of photos right so if i do p tag not p tag sorry if i go ahead and copy the link of the rose royce open in new tab i'll just copy this link and i'll paste it over here and press ok i want this over here okay and i will say post blog now you can see here it is rendering the um, html rather than this uh, filtered uh, content okay rather than you know rendering the actual content which we have copy and pasted so we need to do one thing in our html so i will show you that we will go to blog underscore home and we need to write pipe here and i will write save save this come over here refresh now you can see uh, it has gone but it is showing us the image okay it is showing us the image i will sh show you i will write here to 200 actually and refresh you can see it is showing us image but we don't want this okay so we will fix this in our next video for now it is working and i click on read more then here it is showing me html data i will do same thing in blog detail page so where is our description description over here i will say save refresh okay we got this now we don't need this image tag anymore so i'll just remove it refresh okay now we got our blog ready so in next video we will just solve this problem like we don't want image over here so we will solve this in next video okay so yeah this is this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt please let me know in comment down below or on my instagram i will definitely try to reply as soon as possible thank you so much for watching